I feel like going back to my original style of videos. I mean, I didn't get a new style or anything, it's just that I stopped doing the old style. The old style was kind of like video journaling. It feels like I'm talking to myself in a way. Anyway, have a look at this. So uh, obviously my main goal in life is gymnastics right now, but it, it can't be the only thing I do, right? So these are my little side quests, just like in a video game. After all, life is just a video game. I try to keep this list as limited as possible. The reason being is because I tend to take on too many tasks at once and then spread myself too thin. So number one is housework. I, I can't do too much housework at the minute because I am working pretty hard in training at the minute. It's a tough training block, so I don't want to tire myself out doing too much housework, but there's still things that can be done. Number two is my level three coaching qualification. This involves creating a year planner for a gymnast, which is really interesting, but it just means that I need to set aside the time to actually do that. This is the reminder. Number three on the planner is plan my trip to Asia. I want to go to Asia with my girlfriend after the Olympic Games, and it's a perfect time to do that because I can actually take like a month off training after the Olympic Games. I'll still be exercising, of course, and training in some way or another, I'm sure. But I can't wait for that, and if you guys have any suggestions of where to go in Asia please let me know in the comments number four is a new thought Airbnb or rent I'm wanting to get another property maybe and I'm not quite sure whether I should rent or do an Airbnb really undecided at the minute on that one there's an hour until training now so I'm gonna get a coffee and energize myself before my difficult training session I actually don't even know where to get a cup of coffee. There's a couple of good coffee places in it, Nards. Haptic and then this church. But I might be lazy today and just go to like Starbucks. I never do this. But maybe Starbucks coffee has gotten better. I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go to Starbucks. I only normally let myself have one cup of coffee per day. And I wanted to be a good cup of coffee. I just don't think Starbucks can deliver that. So training is getting pretty difficult. The next three weeks here are gonna be this like big endurance push on Hommel. Because in Baku, that was one of the big things that stood out to me that was missing. Just that little bit of endurance left for the dismount. So we're gonna be working hard on that. It's gonna be taxing for my mind, my body, my arms. But I know that that's like the kind of training I thrive off best is getting the most numbers in possible. Those numbers are what I rely on when it comes to doing big competitions. When I'm presenting to the judges, I think, you know, I've got the confidence here because of these hundreds of routines I've done before. So it's exciting. I, I look forward to feeling that sense of confidence, but it's actually, it's not quite there yet. But that just comes with, with time and numbers of doing this routine over and over again. So we have a delivery. I don't know what it is. So this will be a surprise. <laughs> It's one of these guys. I'll obviously show you when it's assembled, but I ain't doing that right now. Hey! <laughs> that didn't say that <laughs> my hardest session 
whole year there. I was hitting like the technical points that I wanted to hit, but because it's a Friday, it's the end of the week, and it's the first week that we started this heavier block of training, my arms are just gone. Even to the point where I'm feeling like a bit sick now after those routines. It's frustrating just not having the juice left in me to complete that routine yet. But it's like, it's understanding that this is a heavier block of training for a reason. It's to like, it's to feel like this, it's to feel crap like this some days. I'm gonna vomit all over the place. And then hopefully even after this weekend with uh, a day rest, we'll feel a lot fresher. And then the hope is to obviously eventually feel the freshest on that competition day. But I'm happy I'm sticking with this, um, this technique. I'm really trying to push for the execution, even if it does mean having a fall or two. It's, it's like for the greater good, I'm not gonna settle for less. I'm briefly doing other apparatus just to kind of keep up fitness and body tension and leg tension. It's good to do those mind and muscle kind of exercises and I feel like I achieve that by doing like the basic skills on other apparatus but just doing them perfectly. And then you discover new things along the way when doing other apparatus. So on P-bars for example, I was doing half turns or pirouettes. I noticed that the direction that I do pirouettes is actually the opposite to how I would Russian travel on pommel horse. So this is my normal direction pirouette and this is my opposite direction. Now as you can see on pommel I also travel forward in this opposite direction. So if you're a gymnast you'll know that doing a half turn or a pirouette the opposite direction is actually kind of weird, kind of difficult, but the fact that I'm doing that on pommel horse is interesting. Obviously comes naturally on pommel horse but I feel like it will add something to pommel if I also practice doing the opposite pirouette on parallel bars. So maybe I'm onto something there. It wouldn't hurt to practice doing pirouettes the other way. So after training I straight away get physio treatment just to try and flush out these very very tired arms right now. Then I go straight home, cook up a nice little lunch and after that I jump into bed for a 20 minute nap. Most of the time I'm not even tired when I try to go for these naps. What I do is I stick on some lo-fi girl in the background of my TV, set a 20 minute timer and just close my eyes for 20 minutes. But I've heard real positive things from sleep professionals and even nutritionists and stuff that say that taking a nap in the middle of the day is quite important to just preserve that energy. And I need all the energy I can get in order to even recover from these tough training sessions. Just finished my little slumber there and uh, I'm gonna get a cup of tea into me because I need a little bit of energy to do this next task. What I'm gonna be doing is coming up with some exercises for school kids to take part in in their classroom. This has been prompted by a mental health charity that I am an ambassador for called Action Mental Health. They just asked me, can I come up with some cool gymnastics exercises? And I said, of course. Gymnastics can be done anywhere, even in your classroom. Today, I'm hopefully gonna show you the importance of physical exercise, especially when it translates to your actual mental health, how you're feeling in general. I've now finished all of my work for the day, really. This evening I have a, an awards ceremony to go to. It's a local awards, the sports awards, where they're giving out like a bursary to an up and coming athlete, and I am presenting that award and also doing a little talk. So that's a nice opportunity to just share my story, hopefully inspire, and um, yeah, it'll be a nice evening. I always love to see local sports people. My camera just died. Anyway, I really better get going. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, and thank you to the Patreon supporters for the continued support. I hope you're all still enjoying the content. Uh, if you'd like to join the Patreon, the link is in the description. You can join for any amount, and it's really just to support this channel. And the messages and comments on the Patreon really do motivate me just to put out more content all the time. See ya, stay positive, keep smiling. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.